Hi, welcome to educators.com. I'm Shavanti, your Hadoop instructor. In this module, we are going to discuss about the reducer side join in TIP5, the driver class, mapper classes in the reducer class, details, and also the execution of the reducer side join program as well. So, as we discussed in the last module, if you have a multiple data files and in that all the data files are larger data sets, then you must need to go to the reducer side join. In case if any of the files are smaller, you can use the distributed cache and you can load them into the RAM and use the map side join. Otherwise, we must need to use the reducer side join. So here in this example, we have two input files. Let's assume one is the employee and the department. This employee file consisting of a employee name, employee ID, salary, department ID. And we have another file called department file which consisting of a department ID and the department name, which is customer relationship management or banking and financial sector or HR. These are all the different department types. And if you see this, if you wanted to join these two tables, you must require a foreign key. So what is the foreign key? These two things are nothing but department ID is the foreign key in the employee table. Okay? This department ID in the employee table will be uniquely defining your department. So here whenever I am having a 0 1, that means some belongs to PRM. Like that. So in this example, what we are going to do is, I wanted to find out a total salary for the each department. That is nothing but here. I'm having the zero one. First and the last employees in the zero one. What is the total salary? One lakh eighty nine thousand is the total salary for zero one department. That is nothing but for the CRM. I should get displayed one lakh eighty nine thousand for the CRM. HR we have only 78,900. So total summation of all the salaries from each department we need to find it out. So to do that, what we are going to do is we are going to write our driver class mapper and the reducer classes. So in the driver class when we compare with the another program, it's here in the previous programs every time in the executed program we used to do Hadoop jar, jar file name driver class name and a single input file which we use to specify. Here we will be specifying the multiple input files because here in this example we are having the employee.txt and department.txt. You can have n number of the input files. So while submitting the job also, you have to specify the multiple input files. So how to handle these multiple input files is nothing but with the help of the multiple input dot add input path, with the help of this you need to specify your, you need to process your uh, uh, input file. Let's assume that I have entered while submitting this job, Hadoop jar, jar file name, driver class, and one is the employee.txt and the department.txt, and the output directly. That means the first file employee.txt is going to be handled by this mapper, employee mapper. The second one, dbtt.txt, is going to be handled by department mapper because the content of the two files are different. So I can't use a single mapper to process my input file. That is the reason why, with the help of the multiple input dot add input path, we are going to handle multiple input for multiple or uh, mapper classes as well. So when you see this multiple inputs dot add input path, the argument is expressed to the job object, path object. To the input format class. For the modules, we are going to discuss about what are all the multiple input format classes are available with us. And this is the name of the mapper which you are going to handle. And also, then you are setting up the reducer class, job.setReducer class, and the rest of the things you have seen. You need not modify any of these things. Either you can write a tool runner program or else the plain driver class. It doesn't matter. So now in the mapper class, EMP mapper, what I'm going to do is I'm going to read my employee details. So I'm of my 
employee ID, employee name, employee ID, salary, and the department ID. So first of all, I'm going to give it up. Whatever the content is there, I'll be separating with the comma. And now, what exactly I'm emitting is nothing but, as per our problem statement, we wanted to find out the salary, the total salary for the individual department. So this part 3 is the department ID. That is the foreign key. Every time in your program, it has to define the foreign key over here. Department ID and I require a salary. That is the third field. As it is starting with the 0, part 0, 1, 2. So this is the salary field and this is the department ID field. And what exactly this EMP class is nothing but? Whatever the multiple mappers you are having to identify this particular salary is coming from the employee table. You must need to uniquely identify the value over here. You can put any of the value to identify uniquely saying that this part to salary is coming from my employee table. So I am uniquely defining the employee with combining this over here. Similar way for the department. As it is separated with the comma, I am splitting it and then part of view. That is the department ID. That is the primary key in the next table. Department ID and this one is the department name. We are also to uniquely identify the value we are adding the department. So finally all of these employee mapper details, department mapper details, everything is going to going to be into the shuffle and the sort phase and after that it will be going into the reducer phase. So in the reducer what I'm doing over here is whatever the values we got here we are splitting us with the tag. The reason why we are splitting us with the tag is nothing but all of your values are using department slash t, employee slash t. So as it is separated with the tag, I am splitting it with the tag and I am finding it out whether my value is equal to the employee. If it is consisting of the employee, then we are going to add those particular salaries. Doing the summation of these salaries, sum is equal to some plus that value. Then what is this integer that part into is nothing but? This one is a text string. If you wanted to convert the string to the integer, we must need to use the integer that part into. Similar way, I am checking whether the value is equal to the department. Then what we are doing over here is the department. The department name is the second field there. That means a part one. So I'm editing that department name and finally with the help of the context dot right, we are specifying this. What is the department name and what is the sum? You can see it over here. This is the department name and this is the sum. So here to convert to your string, even if you wanted to keep it in the integer itself, even you can have that. You just need to use the new inside table. Otherwise, if you wanted to convert into the text, you just use that string dot value of function which converts your integer to the string. So in simple words in the driver class, additionally we have used the multiple input format. Read the multiple input file. And in the mapper classes, we have written the different employee mapper and the department mapper and we emitted the values and we uniquely identify the employee details with the EMP and the department with the DVT key. And in the reducer, finally I came here and I have fitted with the help of the slash t and then with the help of the equals method we are cross verifying if it is having an EMP then we are going to do a summation of all the salaries. If it is a department I am going to extract only the department name and finally we are emitting these values. So let's try to execute this program as part of our cloud era quick start VM. I just logged into my Cloudera Quick Start VM and the files employee.txt and the department.txt have been attached to this uh, video. You can download and drag and drop it to on top of your screen. Just open your terminal, navigate to the desktop and see this employee.txt and the department.txt are available. So what we do is as a first step, let's move our files into the Hadoop distributed file system.
which are home cloud era desktop is the pack from here that is the file name employee.txt is the file name so I just wanted to place that into the Hadoop distributed file system I will just give it as an employee once it is done let's also place the department.txt into the HDFS BEPT.txt and here we do have BEPT right we moved throughout the details employee and the department tables into our Hadoop distributed file system and now to write your program open your Eclipse and create the classes similar way how I have shown you previously so creating here and creating a new class you need to define your radio four classes one is a driver class mapper class is two and one is a radio user class so if you observe this I have created my driver class over here with the help of the additional statements I have specified and also I do have my employee dot employee mapper and also I do have my department mapper apart from this I also have my final red user class same code whatever I explain you in the next couple of minutes So here let's export that into the jar file. Let's give a name. Don't forget to save the file. The red users, red user join. So everything. And now let's execute our program. If you observe this, you can see your red users join over here. So let's execute our job Hadoop jar and this is the jar file name. If you see the driver class, my main method is available in the red user side join, which is the name. Red user side join. Let's check the spelling mistake. Spelling red user join. Okay. And then let's give our input file. The input file here. There is a difference from other programs to this program because we will be specifying a two input files and this must need to be in order. The first one is the employee so that it will be taken care by the employee mapper. The next one is the department, department mapper. Finally, you can give red user join output directly. Once the program is submitted, you can see the final output by combining these two things and this total summation of the two salaries are summation of the salaries based upon the department will be displayed to us and here the program has been completed successfully and if you wanted to see the output of this just let's just navigate to that particular file and let's use the tag to display our uh, Content inside that particular part file. Catch. You can see the content of them and the summation of these uh, salaries and also the name of the department as well. Let me just see something was. Yeah, so the reason why we got the previous error is I have not placed, I have not saved the, the red user side join for one of the chains. So what you guys need to do is just copy the content which I have attached as to this video. So you can directly execute your uh, uh, the job with the help of these two files, two input files, employee and the department which is the output directory. So the job is completed successfully. Once you come down and open your red user file, the final output you can see like PR and 99,000. What is the total uh, uh, the salaries which has been uh, drawn from the CRM department? So, like that, from the each department wise total salary, we will find it out. Where if you observe this, these two are the different files. The salaries are in one of the files, and the department names are in the other file. This is how we will be calculating the red user side joins.
So summary, in this module we have been discussing about the reducer side joints where we can use whenever we are having a larger data set, we can use the reducer side joints and uh, with the help of the multiple input format we can read the multiple input file and we can process these things. For that we are having the two different uh, employee mapper and the department mapper individual files. Uh, with the help of these uh, uh, unique codes, uh, employee and the department uh, in the mapper code, we have uh, to find it out our employees and the department and finally we have written our reducer uh, uh, class to find out the summation. So, thank you. Let's catch up in the next module.